the black gold of the seas. Imagine a creature that swims thousands of miles, endures crushing depths, and races through ocean currents at 40 km only to end up on your plate as sushi, canned staple, or gourmet steak. Tuna command more global value than any other wild-caught fish, over $50 billion each year, and yet their world remains shrouded in mist. A blend of high-tech fleets chasing shoals by satellite, secretive ranches fattening juveniles in Mediterranean cages, and processing plants engineered like space stations. I'm your AI narrator from Agri360X, and today we dive into the hidden journey of tuna, where biology, technology, and culture collide. Fasten your life vest. The depths are calling. Biology and the titans of the deep, of over 300 tuna species, four dominate our plates and markets. Bluefin tuna, thunnus thinnus. The ocean's apex, weighing up to 600 kilolos, with a body temperature 10 degrees C above ambient seawater. This warm-blooded speedster powers migrations from Newfoundland to the Bay of Biscay, fueling Japan's sushi auctions where a single fish can fetch $3 million. Yellowfin tuna, Thunus albacares. Sporting fins the color of sunshine, these 40 kg lure giants roam tropical seas. Their shimmering schools support pole and line fisheries across the Pacific, delivering lean steaks and poke bowls. Big Eye Tuna, Thunus obesus. Deeper diver and nocturnal hunter, Big Eye average 100 kilos and drive the premium sashimi market with firm, oily flesh. Skipjack Tuna, Katsu Wonus Pelamis. The world's workhorse at 2-3 kidin each, Skipjack represents 60% of canned tuna supply, feeding billions with accessible protein. Each species possesses unique physiology, giant hearts, streamlined bodies, and heat-conserving countercurrent blood vessels, adapted for long-distance stamina. Understanding their biology is the first ripple in a vast technological wave. Wild capture, high-tech fleets at sea gone are the days of drift nets and chance encounters. Modern tuna fleets deploy. Purse sane vessels, floating fish, aggregating devices, FADs, lure tunas into nets the size of football fields. Fleet-wide echo sounders scan hundreds of meters down, transmitting backscatter data to satellite-linked bridges. When a shoal appears, drones drop flares and lead lines guiding crews to encircle the school within minutes. Longline vessels, hundreds of kilometers of monofilament lines, studded with thousands of baited hooks, drift at precise depths. GPS autopilots set patterns in stripes or loops, while electronic hook release devices reduce bycatch of turtles and sharks by 70%. Pole and line boats, the oldest method now reborn with netless certification. Sonar and hydroacoustic buoys detect skipjack near the surface. Once schools form, dozens of pole and line anglers jingle barbless hooks in sync, an almost ballet-like harvest. Together, these methods bring in over 4 million tons of tuna annually, yet fuel costs and bycatch concerns drive continuous innovation toward greener, more selective capture. Tuna ranching and aquaculture, fattening the wild catch. To stabilize supply and meet luxury demand, tuna ranching has emerged. Juvenile capture, sardine-sized tunas, 20-50 gun, are caught in nets and towed to floating sea cages near the Spanish coast, Port Lincoln, Australia, and Japan's Oita Prefecture. Sea cage grow out. In technified pens covering one AKA, tunas are fed high-protein pellets, blended from fish meal, krill, and soy, at 3% of body weight daily. Automated feed barges and underwater cameras track shoal behavior adapting rations to water temperature and growth curves. Harvest and release. After 18 to 24 months, tunas reach 20 to 30 kilolazos and are either harvested for sushi-grade flesh or released back into the wild to support spawning. Though full closed cycle breeding remains experimental, these ranches produce 200,000 tons of fattened tuna annually, commanding premium prices up to $100 a kilos for Akami cuts. Rigorous health monitoring, PCR tests for viral infections, automated water recirculation, and UV sterilization, ensures stock welfare and food safety. On-deck handling and cold chain, preserving ocean freshness. The moment a tuna leaves its watery realm, seconds count. One, Ikejime. Stunning. A spike to the hindbrain stops motion within two seconds, preventing lactic acid buildup and rigor mortis, 
preserving color and texture. 2. Bleeding and gutting. Crew slice gill arches and extend cuts along the belly to drain blood, turning flesh from dull gray to vibrant crimson. 3. Refrigerated seawater, RSW. Tuned to zero degree C, onboard tanks recirculate cold, oxygenated seawater around carcasses, chilling them within 30 minutes. 4. Transport logistics, vacuum sealed in Yautur 1 degree C ice slurry, tunas head to onshore facilities and reefer trucks bristling with IoT sensors, mapping temperature, humidity, and location in real time. This end-to-end ocean-to-plate chill chain, honed over five years, cuts spoilage by 80% and locks in sashimi-grade quality for up to 30 days. Processing plants, from carcass to culinary canvas. At seaside factories, sterile lines hum with precision. Butchering robots, hydraulic arms position carcasses on rotating rails. Laser-guided blade section loins, akami, chutoro, and otoro cuts with plus one millimeter mere accuracy. Vision sorting and grading. High-resolution cameras and AI classify flesh by color index, fat marbling, and protein content, layering blocks into sashimi packs or bulk freeze blocks. Canning and retorting. Skipjack and yellowfin skip the sashimi route. Fillets steam, flake, and tumble through brine injection and spice baths before hermetic can seaming. Retorts cook at 121 degrees for 30 minutes, sterilizing for five years shelf life. Byproducts and sustainability. Trimming streams feed fish meal plants and oil refineries. Bones and frames yield collagen extracts and nutraceuticals, maximizing value and minimizing waste. Every kilo processed passes HACCP checkpoints, histamine tests, microbial counts below 103 CFUG, and metal detectors, ensuring safety for consumers and compliance with global export standards. Culinary and cultural impact. Tuna on every table. Tuna's versatility spans menus and geographies. Japan's high-end sushi, bluefin otoro sashimi sells for $300 per plate in Tokyo's Ginza district. Tsukiji auctions broadcast millions in bids for single fish. Hawaiian poke bowls, marinated ahi, yellowfin, cubes mixed with seaweed, sesame oil, and chili pepper top coarse rice, an $800 million market in the U.S. Mediterranean grills, big eye steaks sear in olive oil and herbs along Spain's Costa Brava, fueling local tourism and festival circuits. Global canned staples, skipjack and brine, oil or tomato sauce, feed school lunch programs worldwide. Over 4 billion cans consumed annually across Europe, Asia and North America. From rooftop izakayas to coastal shacks, tuna connects cultures and cuisines proving that the ocean's bounty travels well beyond its blue horizon. Economics and market dynamics, crunching the numbers. Tuna's global ecosystem of buyers and sellers hums with scale and complexity. Annual catch, 4 million tons, worth $50 billion. Top producers, Indonesia, 800,000 T. Philippines, 600,000 T. EU fleets, 500,000 T. Japan, 400,000 T. Top exporters. Thailand leads canned and frozen markets, $6 billion, followed by Spain and Japan. Price volatility. Bluefin prices swing wildly. Peaks of $200 kies at auction, lows of $30 kiloyos in oversupply years. Market segments. Premium sashimi, 15% of volume, 50% of value. Frozen blocks, 30% volume, 20% value. Canned tuna, 55% volume, 30% value. Currency shifts, fuel costs, and regulatory quotas send ripples through tuna's supply chain. Spot contracts for frozen blocks trade on global seafood exchanges, while futures markets for bluefin are emerging to hedge price risks. In this high-stakes arena, agility and data-driven forecasting separate winners from losers. From the mystery of midnight jigging to the glare of sushi bar lights, tuna's story is one of adaptation by the fish and by humanity. As fleets harness satellites and labs grow cells in vats. One question remains, how will we balance our appetite with the ocean's health? Now it's your turn. If you could champion one innovation, whether it's supporting MSC certified fleets, sampling cell cultured tuna, or advocating blockchain traceability, 
Which would you choose to secure Tuna's future? Share your vision in the comments. Thank you for diving with Agri360X, where we unveil the hidden forces shaping our food, from sea to plate. If this journey into the world of tuna ignited your curiosity, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. We publish Monday Friday at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., with weekend specials at 12 p.m. Until next time, stay curious, and let every bite remind you of the ocean's vast wonder.